Hello everyone, I uh, thought I'd do a really quick video, I've been quite busy recently but I thought I'd do a quick update and I've got a bit further with the keyboard project. So I managed to strip all the existing keys, uh, key switches off the PCB so that's uh, that was a massive faff but I managed to desolder them all. Uh, so that's uh, ready for the new switches and it's got a layout pattern there which is helpful. Um, and then I need to give it a bit of a clean, but here's the, the frame. Uh, it has the support uh, in place, so I can't really can't replace those, I don't think, uh, with different ones. Uh, but it has to be the stabilizers, that's the word I was looking for. But yeah, so I can clear, clean this up now and um, put in the new switches. So I've got some um, Gator on Browns. Uh, there, so it should be hopefully a bit quieter, and I'm going to put some uh, sound insulation at the bottom of the case as well. So yeah, it's just a sort of case of uh, cleaning everything up and then soldering all the switches on, which took ages. The other thing that I got was I got this off eBay, some mechanical numeric keypad, and my partner said it's exactly the same thing as to replace the switches in this. If I can get it apart, which I think I can. And then um, put the uh, so I got enough keycaps to uh, replace the keycaps on this as well. Maybe not the top row actually because I think they're custom, but possibly the escape. So then I'll have yeah two, two nice relatively custom keyboards. We mainly did this for fun. It's not a sort of a massive uh, project or something, and I could have probably bought a keyboard for nearly the same price. But it's a uh, it's a bit of an adventure. And, bit of practice with the old soldering iron. So yeah, I'll um, probably update when I've got the final thing finished and uh, show you that. So until then, I will uh, see you next time.